Hey Brandon, it's Megan from St. Louis. The first time I saw you perform was about three years ago when you opened up at the Tabernacle in Atlanta, Georgia. I also helped start and run the Instagram fan account page with a couple of friends, and I have a few questions for you today. Do you have a favorite moment or memory with your band? Oh gosh, my favorite moment I've had with my band that I can remember would be when we were up in London, Ontario, kicking off the Fired Up tour with Brantley Gilbert. I just Remember, we had had been time off for Thanksgiving and all that, and, and the holidays, and it was uh, time to get cranking back. And I just remember right before that show, the energy in the building, and especially being up in Canada, where they're super good to me. It was just a very special night. And I remember huddled up right before we went on stage with the band. That's something I'll never forget. And I uh, can't wait to we get back to that kind of moment again. Do you prefer to play stadium shows with a larger crowd, or a smaller venue with a more intimate crowd? You know, people ask me this a lot, like, what's your vibe? Like, what kind of what kind of venue you like to play in, man? And I like to play the stadiums. I like the big ones. There's no question about it. The bigger, the better. I've heard Nicole sing a couple songs with you, like Me and Dixie in Tennessee Christmas, and she's also lent her vocals during a few of your Instagram lives lately. Have you ever considered recording a duet for your album? I think so, yeah. I don't want to leave anything off the table. We obviously sing a lot around the house, and. Um, you know, a lot of people don't know this, but when we first started dating, I would get super nervous at the show she would come to because she's been classically trained as a vocalist herself. She knew far more about uh, the technicalities of the of the uh, of, of the singing than I did. I think my technicalities were uh, shot a fireball and a Bud Light before a show, and uh, didn't know anything about warming up or my pitch wasn't all that great. Didn't know how to sing harmony, and harmony is one of my favorite things. So. Thank you, baby. You taught me how to sing harmony, and uh, yeah, I think I think we should do something down the road. What is your favorite song that you've written that's been recorded by another artist, and why? William Clark Green cut uh, "Creek Don't Rise." Me and him wrote that back a few years ago. He was up from Texas to uh, to write in Nashville for like a week, and. He took a, a week out of his tour and scheduled to do that, and um, Alicia Pruitt over at Warren Chapel set us up, and we just really, I mean, I guess we were two young guys that we've been on the road a lot, and so we wanted to write something fun, and good Lord willing and the creek don't rise, it's one that uh, it always feels good. Do you have a favorite gift that you've received or moment that you've shared with a fan? I would say, um, the best gift is these Legos that uh, Brandon Lay fans got for um, the Instagram page, Brandon Lay Fans, and y'all know who you are. Y'all give a shout out to them at Brandon Lay Fans. They gave Ryder some um, building blocks, Legos, and so I see those every day. So I think those will probably be my favorite fan gift. That was very thoughtful. Thank you guys. Thank you for answering my questions. I miss you and the guys, and I can't wait to get the gang back together once all this is over.